Alright, Slick here again for another unboxing for Custodes Imperialis. Today we're going to tackle the final uh, unboxing for the Ottoman Empire in um, uh, Spartan Games' uh, Dystopian Wars. So we'll be back right after we get this box open and get all the pieces lined out. Okay, and we're back. So here is everything that you get in the box, minus um, some... Uh, templates and stuff, which we've covered in other videos, so we don't need to repeat that here. Um, but you do get that in each and every one of the boxes. So in this box we have the battleship, which is kind of sitting in two halves right here. We've got the, the hull. Um, again, really just extremely, extremely detailed, uh, just like everything in Dystopian Wars. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more on these. In either case, uh, so there's two halves of the battleship there, the central bridge that would lay in it, and then kind of the top half of these four cruisers here. And then we got some more metal uh, frigates slash escorts, and that's kind of one of my only gripes about the whole Ottoman uh, faction, but we'll cover that in a second. Um, three more of the small bombers. Um, Ten more fighter tokens, and these, you might be wondering what the heck are these, um, they're not more fighters, so what is really cool about this new faction is that uh, for the first time they're introducing floating mines, so there's a couple other factions that already have ships capable of dropping uh, the traditional sort of uh, naval mines. Um, Ottomans, for the first time, have floating mines, which can then actually catch uh, other flyers and skimmers, which is really cool, so it's a whole new dimension uh, that the fleet brings. Um, there's some other additional metal bits here, the little minarets and metal guns and all that stuff that go with the ships, but um, for the most part, this this is the meat of what you get here. Um, again, my only real gripe, um, everything else um, for the Ottomans is resin. I'm not sure why they felt the need to go with metal frigates. I mean, the detail is still crisp and everything. Uh, that's not an issue, but um, it's and it's not exactly um, a ship that you would only need one or two of. So I'm not. I'm just not sure why, when practically every other faction has all resin or mostly resin um, frigates that they wanted to go with these. So, but um, all in all, it's, it's it's not a big deal. At least they're they're one piece. There's no uh, assembly there. It's not a hybrid kit. Um, but let me see if we can get a little bit closer in some of this detail so you guys can see this so um, just fantastic fantastic levels of detail here um, so those are again the cruisers a little closer on the frigates bombers let me see if we can twist the battleship around a little bit here so that's kind of the top half and then you can see the side here and underneath where all the uh, Pipes are running along the ship here, and put one of the cruiser hulls next to it so you guys can see that too. Okay. Um, Rules-wise, I know, as I mentioned, they have the floating mines. Um, there's a whole lot of other cool features with the fleet. Um, special rules, so they have something called sustain fire, which basically lets you reroll some misses. Um, they have some pretty cool generators. Um, makes the you basically put out a template, and, and um, uh, whatever's shooting through that at you um, has a harder chance of hitting you. So, um, and just to top it off, as you can see, um, the fleet has just tons and tons of broadsides and some pretty solid uh, uh, turreted weapons as well. So, um, these guys seem like just a real offensive and defensive powerhouse. Um, there's a lot of flexibility with the list too with having um, skimming uh, cruisers, a skimming battleship, um, a, a mobile airfield that's uh, also completely amphibious as you saw in the other um, unboxing and of course uh, a skimming uh, frigates so uh, there's just really really uh, quite a few options in this fleet um, and it's, it's going to be interesting to try out and see how it stacks up against some of the other um, older fleets and some of the newer things that have come out. So all in all, very happy with the Ottoman Empire. Um, three different box sets for the army right now. I've got uh, one of each and um, next step will be uh, getting them all uh, put together, 
painted, and then we'll see how they do on the tabletop. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, just drop that in the comment section below, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.